Hello folks and welcome back to the geodynamics video lectures on the topic of thermal processes in the lithosphere. In this lecture we're going to look at the Peclé number. And our only goal in the lecture is going to be to introduce the Peclé number and then talk about why it is a useful number. The reason in part that the Peclé number is useful is that in many geological settings the influence of heat transfer by advection and heat transfer by diffusion are similar. And so it's nice to be able to have some way of estimating which one of those two heat transfer processes might be more or less important in a given setting. And so the Peclé number is simply the ratio of advective to diffusive thermal parameters. So you can think about it as a ratio of the terms related to heat advection versus terms related to heat diffusion. And so this gives us a way of simply estimating the influence of those processes. The definition is shown here. Now the Peclé number is again the ratio of advective to diffusive heat transfer processes, where advective heat transfer processes are represented by V, some velocity, times L, which is a characteristic length scale of advection. I'll give you a little bit more information about that in just a second. Divided by kappa, which is the thermal diffusivity, as you've seen before. Now you can also rewrite this equation in the same way where you substitute um, in kappa as K over rho Cp, where K is the thermal conductivity density and then C is the uh, heat capacity. But it's a little more confusing in this case because now you have things on the top that aren't necessarily strictly related to heat diffusion. So it's maybe easier to use this form of the equation. Now that L, again, is characteristic length scale, so that is something related to how thick of a region is being moved as a result of advection. So if it's something that affects the whole crust, that L could be 35 kilometers. If it's a single um, thrust sheet or something like that, it could be one kilometer. So L makes a big difference, obviously, and it depends on what's being advected. If you look at the equation, the idea is pretty simple. If Peclé number is less than one, that means diffusion dominates. In other words, the diffusive term is bigger than the advective term. And conversely, when the Peclé number is greater than one, that means the advective terms are larger than the diffusive terms. And when it's about one, their influence is similar. So now you have an opportunity to make a calculation with the Peclé number and see if you understand the basic idea. Here we're going to make the assumption that most deformation in mountainous regions occurs uh, only in the crust, and so if we assume a typical crustal thickness of 35 kilometers, the question for you is what is the advective um, uplift velocity that is needed in an active mountain range for advection to become more important than diffusion? So the question is what velocity is required for advection to become more important than diffusion? So go ahead and pause the video and uh, do your calculation and come back when you've got an idea. All right, let's see how you've done. The basic idea here is pretty simple. We have our Peclé number equation that we've just seen, V times L over kappa. What we want to do then is solve for V. So this is simply the Peclé number times kappa divided by L. And if you plug in some numbers, your typical thermal diffusivity of 10 to the minus 6 meters squared per second, divided by 35,000 meters, and here we're going to put a Peclé number of 1 because that's the point at which advection and diffusion are equal. And so at any velocity greater than this would be advection being more important. And what you should come up with is something that is um, about 0.9 millimeters per year. Uh, hopefully you came up with a similar number. Now we're fortunate in this lecture to have back-to-back -back questions. And here what we're going to look at is a case of uh, a magmatic intrusion. You could think about it as a dike being emplaced. And uh, typically when we look at these, um, we don't really worry about the advective heat transfer because we consider their emplacement geologically instantaneous. In other words, the amount of heat that's lost during emplacement is negligible. And so I'd like to have you demonstrate that for yourself here. And the way you can do that is we'll make uh, a simple example here where we're going to assume a basalt dike is emplaced and it's emplaced at a velocity of 0.1 meters per second. And so the question for you then is how big is its Peclé number? 
and we'll assume that it's migrated two kilometers and uh, it has a typical thermal diffusivity. You can use the thermal diffusivity from the previous question um, for this case. So again, go ahead and um, pause the video, do your calculation, and come back when you have your answer. All right. This case, it's even easier. We're just going to simply say calculate the Peclet number with this velocity and this distance. So 0.1 meters per second, 2,000 meters for the distance, and then here is our thermal diffusivity. And what you come up with is a Peclet number of 200 million. Obviously, advection is far more important than heat conduction in this case. In other words, we don't have to worry about the uh, heat lost to diffusion during emplacement. All right, so that's it for the Peclet number. Uh, go ahead and take the quiz and come back for the final lecture on the topic of thermal processes in the lithosphere.